Good morning, clan, and welcome back once again here at Lola My Springs. We're packing things up. Trailer's just about ready. Get everything in its place. And close this. And uh, yeah, vlog just went out a little early. Uh, I'm, I'm, I like it when it goes out early. You like it when it goes out early. Everyone's happy. And so, uh, last bit of thing we have to do is get this trailer back out of the spot because it's pretty tight back here. Boys, let out, let out some hot air. Everything is pretty much packed up, done. The Perones left early this morning, wanted to beat the traffic. The Bevos are about ready. The hard part's gonna be getting out of here the way we came in. Straight shot was in, but now I'm backed up. So we're gonna try, back it up here, and then back out the way I came. We'll see. All right, what's going on here? We are attempting the three man. <laughs> back to Make sure you're paying attention. I can't <laughs> I'm gonna clear that tree there. Oh, geez. Um, yeah, go slow, babe. The AC is not gonna clear. The antenna and the AC is not gonna clear. Squeeze, tight squeeze. Stop, stop, stop. We're good. It's coming straight out this way then? Okay, now. Good. Coming back. I don't know. He might make it. He says. Can you change your underwear yet? No, but I find it comical that you're recording this and not my wife, because my wife's doing this <laughs> the entire time. Uh, oh, Dad's on the roof now. He's getting rid of some trees. What happens? Stay on this side. You're good. It's coming through. Coming out. Woo, that's really close. All right, once you back up. Ready? Hopefully this is it. Hopefully he's through. Now turn the other way. Yeah. Clear. Oh, he's clear. clear. He's clear. <laughs> Good job, Quintus. Nice you. Yeah, I know, smaller trailer next time, right? All right, so we just bought this uh, this extender. It's a clear view, 10 incher, so we can actually see the turds fly by. <laughs> and it's mostly Tiffany's. So I pooped in that toilet, so this is pretty much all Tiffany's turds. And Bryce. And Bryce, yeah. No, it's, it's just so it's so we know when it's empty, basically, and when it's just clear water going through, we know we're good. Okay. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, it doesn't make a difference which way you do it. Or it could yeah. go up there too. Yeah. Was it like that the last thing? Yeah. Looks like somebody ran in and just hit it. No! Oh, come on. <coughs> Going uphill. I think I might vomit. Of course, we ran into traffic not too far out of Camp Verde. And it's pretty backed up. We're uh, going 10 to 20 miles an hour. Brake check every quarter mile or so. Jack and Chrissy got about an hour head start on us. They left, we had a dump, and then we stopped to get gas, grab a bite to eat, whatnot, and uh, they're still not home. So 
it's not looking good. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna guess and say it's gonna, we're gonna add an hour, we're gonna basically double our, our, our travel time, I think, today. It's gonna take us almost three hours, close to four hours to get home, when normally it takes us an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes. So, lucky the kids can just chill, right? Me and mommy are the ones who have to kind of like bite her fingernails and stress out over this. All right, trailer's back in its storage spot. Nice and covered parking lot, like sitting out in someone's lot for a month, getting peed on. And uh, yeah, until the next trip, right guys? Yep. And guess, guess what's awesome? What's awesome? You did it in the first try. It was not the first try. I wish it was the first try. Thank you for the for the for the kind words, but I, I finally figured out a, a method to doing it, but it still didn't get it in one shot. It took me about five tries to get it, but at least I know what I'm doing now. It'll get better each time, I guess. You guys want to see something crazy? Check out this uh, RV. It's it's like a giant Winnebago. Clearly had a bad day. It's like it looks like it rolled over maybe because it's like the, oh yeah, look at it, look at it. Holy crap. That crazy? I mean, it just completely destroyed. Look at this. It clearly rolled. I mean, I, I want to say when maybe went down the side of a mountain or something. I mean, it is just completely destroyed. Looks like a refrigerator. Like seen the movie. Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. Something like you saw in a movie. This whole side's like scratched. Who even wants this anymore? Oh, I, I'm, I'm assuming insurance is probably looking at it, babe. But I mean, I mean, it's just completely destroyed. Yeah. I really, I really hope people survived this. Like, this is just bad. Bad, bad. We don't know. But I mean, the, the, the extent of the damage is just, uh, yeah, this is total. That is total. There's no way that that's, but this might be where they store it. This is where they store it maybe, so that's where they brought it. Bad, bad, bad. Yeah. That's uh, that's one of the one of the things with this recreation is is towing and whatnot. It's traveling, traveling on roads in all different kind of conditions. Uh, a, a friend of ours, a friend of a friend, actually posted something on Facebook. Uh, a Toyota Tundra like mine, towing a trailer and it rolled over. It just completely rolled over. The car was upside down. This trailer was on its side. Uh, just this last weekend, and it totally tripped out Sierra at Tiffany, and she's like. We're getting ready to go on camping and then I had to see this picture on Facebook. Thankfully everyone was okay with minor scratches and stuff, but I mean, things like that, it's just nuts. All right guys, so we're back home, all showered, cleaned up, kind of just in chill mode a little bit, time to cook some dinner. And um, cooking, cooking something I got from uh, Costco, Sam's Club. I don't even know how to pronounce it, pa paella? It's a seafood recipe, traditional Spanish dish made with real calamari and mussels, succulent shrimp, crisp vegetables, and saffron seasoned rice. It smells good, it looks good. I'm super excited. It'll probably be just me and the kids that eat it because Tiffany's like, ew. I'll try it. She'll try it, she will. She will. <laughs> so Tiffany ended up forgetting something in the trailer. I didn't realize it until after we got home. So I had to go back to the storage place to pick it up for her because uh, it was kind of important. Uh, but while we, while I went, Bryce ended up going with me. I was like, yeah, let's go get a drink. We'll go, we'll go to this gas station, pick up like an energy drink, and pick up a soda or something like that. You know, a, a treat, if you will. And I was surprised to find out that they actually uh, sold growlers. You could actually get beer there on tap in a growler. And if you're not familiar with the growlers, like a jug, a jug of beer. Uh, sometime last year, they passed a law where um, you could buy growlers from like supermarkets and, and convenience stores and restaurants and bring them home. Uh, that's something new here in Arizona. Anyways. They had all local breweries, all local beers for here in Arizona. So I was super excited. They had a chocolate porter from Prescott. And so that's what I bought, that's what I got. I'm gonna try, I've never tried it before. It's the Apocalypse Chocolate Porter. And it's like I said, it's brewed in Prescott, Arizona. Oh yeah. Excited, excited. So the beer was good, dinner was good, and we had a chill, relaxed evening. Uh, to end our Labor Day weekend. Tomorrow kids go back to school and I get back into the swing of things here in the office. Uh, I get some Minecraft gameplays out for Clinch's games. A lot of you guys are begging for that. Sierra recorded like three or four of them last week. I just haven't had a chance to edit those. Um, and do the final edits on the uh, Sphero video that we did last week. Uh, I got the edits back on that. So hopefully I can get that out to you guys in the next day or two. And uh, you guys have a bonus video. Lots of fun, lots of fun. As always, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Tap the eye in the sky for the last three years videos. Uh, check out the Lola My Springs playlist. I'll have that in the cards as well. See all the adventures over the years. Uh, kids were real little. I've been going to Lola My since 
2007. Well, I've been going just a lot longer than that, but I've been making videos since 2007 with the kids, so it's really cool to go back and see um, them that little at Lolomai and how Lolomai has changed with them. So uh, until then, vlog on.